Don't run. Come back, butterfly. <laughs> Hello, coffee time friends. How y'all doing? Oh. It's Friday night. Oh. And I'm telling you what, I've never appreciated a Friday night anymore than I have this. <laughs> this has been a long week. Rough, rough week. That's right. What are y'all doing? I'm tickled to death. And you're just been absolutely tickled to death that it was your turn to have a day or two off. <laughs> well, I have been. This. No, I didn't. I have been. Y'all ask me sometimes, what do y'all do with all that food? Well, here's a good demonstration. Coleslaw from last night. Fish from last night. Macaroni and cheese from 14 days ago. Oh, it ain't been 14 days. We've had it three meals. So, this, makes this is what we're eating tonight. Left over, over, overs. And that's good. And I'm glad to do it. Coleslaw is just left over once. But, um, that's what we're having. And it's going to be delicious. And we're going to eat fish sandwiches on buns tonight. Ooh. Yeah, fancy. We're going to be using fancy buns. Mama found these at the store. Ballpark Everything Burgers. Look at them little seeds and stuff. It's got everything Everything burger buns. I'm going to use fine china tonight, too. Fine china. It's too hard to work. You're going to go ahead and crisp these buns a little for our fish sandwiches? I can put them on the top. Yeah. Mama's pal, Mama, did you show me your shirt? Yeah, this is my sweatshirt. I've been chilling. I know it's warmed up a lot, but... Y'all's is giving away coffee. They're wanting y'all to taste their coffee. So if you order something off their website, it won't show up anywhere, like on your order or anything, but when they pack your order, they're going to throw you in a, a pack of coffee. Isn't that great? So you'll just get a pack of coffee. If you don't drink coffee, give it to your friend, your neighbor, someone else, just so it gets used. And um, today, I think it's today and tomorrow, or was it just today? You just better check. But there'll be a big ad on there when you go in there. But I think that's just wonderful. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Why, if somebody gives you a pack of coffee, that's a gift for several mornings in a row. I love it. So, y'all, you're doing a good job. I appreciate it. I love their coffee. I'm down to two packs, by the way, if you're listening. Give me a free one. <laughs> I love their coffee. I order their coffee. I love... They they send me their coffee. Y'all, not long ago, they sent us that big box and had all that coffee in it. I'm down to two of those. I thought that was going to be enough to last me for a minute, and it did. Just a minute. We drink a lot of coffee here, though. I drink... I'll do two pots on the weekend a day, and we do... A pot every day. And Mama, about three times a week, will do me an evening pot. So if she knows when I'm coming home, I get an evening pot. So we probably do 12, 12 pots a week at least. It's not bad. Anyway, that's what we do. And um, I don't know about y'all, but I couldn't do it without my coffee. And theirs is the only coffee I drink. So, naturally, when I get down to two packs, I get nervous. A little bit nervous. But, uh, Mama, you want to put a little bit of mayonnaise in this? Seems to have dried out. I'll get some. Um, but anyhow, Mama's over here. I don't know if the lighting looks funny in here. Mama, tell them what you're doing. I'm putting butter on these buns. <laughs> butter the buns? Um, yeah, it's one of those... It's one of those um, fragile moments when you get down to two packs of coffee. Some of y'all think, if I have one pack, I'm good, but you probably ain't drinking it like I am. Or maybe you're not. Some people do in a week, because you fix that whole big pot. You fix it's 10 or 12 cups at a time. She's judging me. No, you don't fix just a small pot. No, I don't do like the... Type of pot or nothing like that. I will do the Keurigs 
and um, they do have pods for the Keurigs, and they're good. Um, but that's just one little cup for me. And most of the time, it's not a 12, 14 ounce, like an 8 ounce cup. So I need, I need a Keurig cup thing that'll make one of my mugs full of coffee. Make a pot. <laughs> Mama's judging me. Again. This is that coleslaw I just made last night, so it's still delicious. Didn't put no onion in it, didn't put the core in it. So it's going to be good. We're having macaroni and cheese from the day before yesterday. We've ate it quite a bit, uh, three times. And I think I ate it for lunch one day. Mom, did you eat it for lunch? Yeah. But it's, that's one thing. Macaroni, makes the third macaroni and cheese, don't, I can eat it every day. Um, and these fish sandwiches are going to taste totally different than last night. So I'm ready. I'm ready. You want tomato on yours, Mama? Um, maybe one slice I'll try. Maybe one slice you'll try. Oh, that's, okay, it's got two, that's a little, little tomato. I'm sorry to say, what's one slice of aroma? <laughs> the lighting in here looks weird. So what I did was I got these big daytime lights and put in this fan. There's four of them right over my head. And they're as bright as my, uh, Ground light, and y'all can see. But then it makes it back here look different. I hear Abby barking. This time I'm sure it's her, so I'm. Who? Abby. Oh. She's barking. I can't hear her barking. I'm over this. I hear her. I'm over that. Under that. The other night I wouldn't. I thought she's barking different. But she wasn't with her. Tonight, I know her bar. That toaster just done its thing. There's a dog out there or something. That's her dog bark. Um, she's got a human bark. Mama's got to be investigated. Uh, she's got a human bark and then she's got a curious bark. And this is her. Mama, I think she's out front. That sounds like a person. Do you guys hear? I hope you can. She's sweet. She's not out back at all. She's out front. She's probably barking at the neighbors again. They've got company at camper and it's different. I hope she ain't out there showing off. She is. She barks Here, you time. talk to him and I'm going to go check on her. I'll check on her. You talk to him. You talk to him and I'll come. <laughs> she barks at him every time they go to their camp or anything. Hello from Rhode Island. Had fish sandwiches for... Oh, they're good, aren't they, Shirley? I love a good fish sandwich. I hear her. Robin hears her. Eddie. What is a human bark? Joyce, are you trying... Joyce, are you just trying to get me to bark on here? It's a rapid bark. Like she's going to eat something up. Uh, it's like six barks at one time. Like, rah, rah, rah. You did it, Joyce. You got me. <laughs> it's, a, it's a rapid bark. And it's like she's just going to eat you up. That kind of bark. This is a curious bark. Three barks, stop, look, bark again. I don't know Three. what she's barking at. They ain't no lights of the... Three barks, she stop. She hears their dogs. She might hear their dogs. I love, absolutely love having her. Why she starts being just as soon as I come in here. I love having her because of that bark. Uh, we live here. We've always, my whole life, when I lived here, all my life... <clears throat> We've always had outside dogs, and we always knew their barks. And you could kind of get a feel for what's going on out there when you're not out there, even without being there. <clears throat> and because she's been here a month today, a month, and um, <clears throat> we've kind of gotten used to her barks. And it's so refreshing to have that out there. Now, I don't want to annoy in all night barking and all that. 
but right now there's something out there. Somebody she sees somewhere, but it's no major threat because if it was, she would be giving her alarm sounding bark. Or I call it the human bark. Well, you're going to have to have another plate if you put No, because time you get yours, I'll eat the rest of them. And I'll put my sandwich right here. I don't need another plate. So this is just a curious bark. Three, three or four barks. And then a, a pause. And then another bark. And then, you know, there's a rabbit in the yard. There's a squirrel out there misbehaving. Unless it's their dogs. There's probably a dog that she can see. You want that one? It's not burning as bad. What? That bottom. It's not. I've had them all across through there, but one not brown. More. They're neither one burnt, Mama. They both look perfect to me. What are you talking about? What's this woman talking about? Look at that perfect braid. That hurts. I love that. No, it's browner. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. We're eating fine china Friday night. How about you? Uh, the fish should be warm, shouldn't I? I'll give you these two middle pieces, Mama. Now she's out back barking, actually. No. I can't tell where it's come from. No, she's out You front. know what? I'm getting just like the daddy. He couldn't ever tell. It's where I can't hear a good now. That's what his problem was. Uh-huh. It is hard to tell, but she's out, she's out front. Um... <clears throat> She was just standing in the back, and now she stays in the front and the back. She stays in her back most of the time, but she gets out and prowls around, and she'll come up to the front and check us out. Since that camper is been, she she knows it's different, and uh, she's nosy. <laughs> what am I doing? Something tomato. What is something? Grinder that somebody got us. And it's got pink Himalayan salt in it, and that's healthy. It sounds like I'm putting a lot, but it takes a few little pumps to get some going. But it's good. I can go up there and check on that. You patty. want tartar sauce or are you put mayonnaise? I'm going to use a little Dukes. Dukes, okay. Look at my mama. Look at what's wrong with Nothing. You just look so happy to This that. is my, did I say my U-Alls? Yeah, but we'll, we'll listen to you again, Mama. Uh, we'll... I'm very tired. <laughs> is it Mama has been out today. She went to this town. It's the first time I've been out about three weeks. Mama, you've been to church. And... Oh, I didn't go. We didn't have church last Sunday, and I didn't go the other Sunday. Because I you didn't go this Sunday. No, we didn't have church. Oh, we didn't miss Sunday because snow. All right, look at there, look at there. Now that's in the air fryer. Now some of you all see it. If you get leftovers or you get carry out chicken, fish, breaded stuff, put it in that air fryer. And we've been doing that and we love it. That's the fish from last night. So we ate a piece and a half. <laughs> last night, and that is the other. We has had four. This is tilapia, and Mama just took it out of its individual packet. Didn't put no buttermilk, nothing. Rolled it in a little bit of cornmeal, salt, and pepper, and she sprinkled it oh, first with lime pepper. Cornstarch in my cornmeal. Little cornstarch in the cornmeal. Sprinkled it with lime pepper, and then rolled it right. Or did you mm -hmm. put it in the sauce? No, I didn't put it in nothing. You didn't put it in the cornmeal? Oh, I... Lime pepper. No, I didn't put nothing. I just put it on the fish itself. Well, let's bless it and then we'll dip it. How's that sound? Okay. Your hands are cold. I'm cold all Look how little it. Mama's hand is. <laughs> Somebody said, Mama's hands look so tiny in your big hand. I said, well, she's tiny. I'm not. And that, look at that. My hands is little. I took after my grandma. Look at that. Little bitty. <laughs> looks like a doll. Let's do our thing again. <laughs> I'm no pumpkin. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's straighten up. Mom, straighten up. Get serious now. Get serious. Dear Father, we thank you for this meal. We thank you for nourishing our bodies with it, dear Lord. We thank you for 
helping us all the way, dear Lord. And we just ask you to be with our friends that are here gathered tonight, that you'll be with them and their perfect quest and their needs. You'll answer each one in your glory and your will and your time, dear Lord. Watch over our country, watch over our leaders, watch over the world and its leaders, dear Lord. Be with our children, be with all. In your precious name we pray, amen. Mm -hmm. This one lady told me one time, she said, I worked with her, she said, you can do more work than I ever seen with those little bitty hands of yours. <laughs> and she was right on the money, Mama. Yeah. <clears throat> you want lettuce? No, sir, you want lettuce? I didn't get any out. But you if want you, mm, I don't want it. Did you put salt on mine? No, ma'am. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't salt yours because I might over salt. And then you might. Well, I might over salt because I can't tell. Then you one. might get mad at me. I gave you the middle two pieces. You want a salad dressing or mayo or something? I've got to. I'm going to hold you up. I'm going to get a knife for the mayonnaise. I had a knife. I ain't seen it. There was an orange one I just peeled. Mayonnaise. Oh. Um, You've not even much call for this week to have had homemade ranch in there. Did you forget about it? I'm going to do this. Oh, excuse me. Whoops a daisy. Would you like some lettuce while I'm tearing? No, I don't think I want no lettuce. It's a little late. Too late for lettuce? Yep, lettuce don't like me. Oh, I thought it was onions that you... Onions, lettuce, salads. Oh. Uh, you're going to drink your coffee. I'm going to drink my coffee. Yes, ma'am. What do you want me to get you? Huh. Would you like me to get you something? I'll uh, get me some water for right now. Well, look at there. You've witnessed a miracle. Mama's just going to settle for water. Looky, looky. Dukes, I don't want tartar sauce because well, what I had it last night, and that was like, I usually put mayonnaise on for sandwiches or or salad dressing, uh, but tonight, usually if it involves the tomato, I want salad dressing, the reason Mama was asking, I guess, but tonight, this Dukes just looks so good, and it's already out. I guess I better put a little salt on my lettuce. Okay. Looky here. A little bit of cold slaw. A little bit of macaroni and cheese. And here we have it. A meal fit for royalty. Look at that sandwich. And that's better than downtown. Now their picture might look that good, but the product won't be. You know, I was amazed how beautiful the pictures look on fast food menus. And they don't even try to duplicate it. It's like, if they had, it, I would say pass a while that the product had to look like the advertisement. That's false advertisement. It is false advertisement. It needs to be a while that the product you get has to look like the advertisement. Because when you get those hamburgers and they look like this, and they got the lettuce like this and the tomato, and then you get it and yours looks like this, and it looks like it was made three weeks ago and mailed in there. <laughs> you're thinking, huh, this don't look as good as it did. You think they're mailed in? They look like they're drove in, rode in there on horseback. They don't even match. They work hard on them. It's, they take the pictures of it. Yeah. The picture should have to match the product that I'm buying. Because it's not even recognizable. You want to cut mine while you're cutting? Well, Mama, I would love to cut yours. You're so sweet sometimes. 
No, Mama, you could have left that last part out, bless your heart. <laughs> That's how they treat you in the South, folks. They say something and then they add a little tag on the end. Most of the time it's bless your heart, but sometimes it's sometimes. You're so sweet sometimes. Well, you don't want to be sweet all the time. My granny used to say, you're so good when you're asleep. <laughs> she would always say that. You're so good when you're asleep. Did your granny ever tell you that or your mama? I Mama, you said it all the time. <laughs> you wasn't good in your sleep a lot of times. No, I was probably worse in my sleep than I was when I was awake. When he, <laughs> when he was real We got to go. <laughs> when he was real little, or not real little, but yeah, <laughs> when he turned over in the bed, his legs would go up and he'd flop on his <laughs> Anyway, what else is going on? It looks good in this fish. Let's look at this fish. Look at that. That looks as fresh and crisp as it was yesterday. Mm -hmm. Whoever told us that about the air fryer? Thank you. Mmm. Sometimes I will stop at a restaurant here in town and get catfish. Most time you get it home, it's not as fresh as it was when you picked it up. We'll throw it in that air fryer and it brings it back. Gets it right back hot like it needs mm -hmm. to be. But it doesn't hurt the bready. Now look at that. Look at that bite. Mm, I think I like it tonight better than I did last night, Mama. That's a total different taste. Mm-hmm. Really good. It's delicious. Dee, what's this? Is yours good? Mm-hmm. Very good. We might get some more of that and just start out with sandwiches. Much good fish sandwiches. Mm, delicious. I went to have fish three times this week. I know what to have eaten. This ain't healthy though. <laughs> um no. Mm -hmm. It would need to be baked, broiled, or something other than fried. And I know good to eat it with cornmeal on it and flavor it up. <laughs> I don't like it. Plain fish. My work used to have this program through our insurance, and they would call you every month. And they would say, what's some goals you'd like to set for blah, blah, blah? <laughs> and I would say, get more exercise and drink water. Oh, you drink plenty of water. The next month, I would say, Walk more and get more vegetables. The next month I go back to water and exercise. Which walking and exercise is the same, but at least it changed it up. Well, I've been doing this forever. So then she called me one day and she said, so you said, and I must have told her I'd like to walk two miles a day. Probably. So you would like to, and I said, she said, what else would you like to, and I said, that's good. We'll just go there. And she said, would you like to go up to three miles a day and maybe add a little more water and some more vegetables? And I said, look, I'm just trying to live long enough to retire. I don't want to run a marathon. No, I ain't going to do nothing else. This is it. Okay, we'll just say you're going to hold and be steady with it. I said, yeah, go with that. So it went on the next time they call me. She was like, I see here that you're not Wanted to set any further go. I said, no, I'm holding, keeping steady. <laughs> what do you expect? I mean, if you're planning for a marathon, yeah, you probably want to increase. But every month, I'm supposed to do more? I'm not like a fitness expert. 
people die from heart attacks from jogging, so you don't want to take that chance. <laughs> well, the Bible says that only the foolish man runs without cows or without... There's this thing about it, about the exercise. I used to call it that up every once in a while when I knew more, remembered it better. And I said, it says not to run without purpose or something. What if you run to lose weight? That's your purpose. I ain't running to lose weight. I do want to get more exercise. And I have tried to start walking on lunch some and do some of those things. But when you're just trying to work and do what you have to do, ain't that enough most days? This week, if you could just work, it would oh, kill you. This week, I have just about done too much. I just had one little spoonful, so one more spoonful. Ain't. That's I'm gonna do. You like the step ladder? One spoonful is not a serving. Two is. So I didn't have half seconds. I just got the rest of my first helping. That's right. Can you get the rest of your first helping and just call it that? I'm gonna go with that anyway. Cause this coleslaw, I'm not just saying it tastes good and fresh. It does. You would never know it was. Uh-uh. You'd never know it'd been made 24 hours now. Not a hurry. <laughs> it was about this time last night, wasn't it? No, it was 8 o'clock when we got it. <clears throat> okay. Wasn't it 8? Yeah, it was late. Hmm. I did finish up about an hour earlier for that. I've not moved anything today, but I'm just catching up from the three days where I was delayed on everything. Yours is good, ain't it? Mm -hmm. you, know, you know the second part of your first? Mm -mm. I better eat on this fish or it'll be left. It won't be no good. No, Mom, you can't have none left. I'm going to take a slice of tomato, put a little cold saw on it, and see how good that is. Mommy always put tomatoes in her cold saw mm -hmm. in the summer. We had them all the time. I do sometimes. Just to have a little something different. But there's so many of us that we cleaned up food. We do have leftovers like that. <laughs> mm -mm. With 10 onions, I guess you didn't. Well, they wasn't 10 of us all the time. Was there ever a time you all were home? When they'd come in, the older ones was... That's what I'm saying. Like all the kids were at home at one time. All eight kids. The oldest one, well, Aretha is the youngest one alive. That was alive. She, he's twenty, was twenty years older than her. So he was grown when she was born. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Is it twenty? No. I wonder what the longest in history years apart from the first child born and the last child born. No. You know, knowing how far apart people were. Some have a long time and no kids in between. Yeah, a lot of them have them every year, didn't they? Looks delicious. Thank you, Pauline. Oh, 
right, folks. We are not wrapped up tonight. So this is it. Y'all got anything? Potato salad. Yeah, I like tomatoes and potato salad. Uh, Diane, I normally, if I'm going to put them in there, I'll put it in as I'm eating it. You know, just stir them up in there. So I must be talking about the way I'm eating. Because I'm seeing two or three comments on here. Did anybody say anything ugly? Is that what they've done? They probably talk about me or shut me again. I don't know. Chew your food, John. You swallow it whole. No, I don't. I get that every once in a while. I chew. I don't have to pulverize it, but I chew it up enough to get it down. <laughs> Everybody's got an opinion. <clears throat> Sometimes the comments are just like that. Other times the comments are just above and beyond the call of rude. And so, if you try to get on here someday and you can't find us anywhere, it's because I banned you for life. Banned you and all your other platforms that you've ever, ever will have. That's an option. So, rudeness, opinions are great. We like those. But if you're rude, crude, you don't belong in this club. We are anti-rude and crude. <laughs> if you cuss and go on on here, if you're going to take the time to write cuss words... And if you pick on one of the other guests, I will ban you anyway. So play nice and play well, and you can stay as long as you want to. But when you don't, and we find it, and Nola is the best at finding those, we're going to ban you. And so if you can't get down, don't try them over too many times, because once you figure it out, you'll slow up and ban from there. But just play nice. Be, talk to, you know, when you make your comments... Don't be a keyboard warrior. Talk to people like you would if you had to face them and you weren't hiding behind the camera. You know, people will say the awfulest things on here, but it's because they're they're sitting behind a keyboard. They wouldn't say it to your face. I know they wouldn't say some of the stuff they said to me to my face because I'd get real red on them. <laughs> um, but anyway, it's it's almost, if it wasn't so rude and crude, it would almost be comical that people would act that way. On just a simple little Facebook page. But uh, used to, I never did ban anybody. I never, and I thought, this is ridiculous. This is my page. I don't have to listen to this. And I don't have to take a part of it. And they're not going to talk to the other people on here that way. I mean, some make a little comment or, and they'll ball them out. Mm -mm, uh -uh, you ain't doing that. So, play nice and you can stay. If you're rude and crude, you're, you're gone. If we find you, you're gone. And Nola will find every one of you. Nola's the best. Uh-huh. Nola finds them. She reports to me. And if it's bad enough, she reports it to Facebook. Uh, I will too. Before I ban, I use a report. Report for uh, whatever the statement is. If it's whatever it is, I report it. So Facebook can kind of get in there and investigate you and they find you down they'll ban you themselves so be careful be nice be nice and mommy always told us if you can't say something good just keep your mouth shut and don't say right nothing right and don't say anything don't type anything you wouldn't say to that person's face don't be a coward don't hide behind your keyboard and be a little keyboard warrior. Well, I'm going to tell them what I think. You wouldn't if you was looking me in the eye. Mm -mm. I bet you. Because I don't put up with that stuff. Do it, Mom. No. I don't put up with it. I do nicely. I'll tell you what I think without using any bad stuff and all that. But no. That's ridiculous. And you people out there, don't put up with it either. You don't have to get ugly. You don't have to yell. You don't have to shout. You certainly don't have to use bad language. But don't be afraid to... If somebody says something to you out in public or what, you tell... 
Excuse me. I don't know who you think you're talking to, but I don't put up with that. Now, they may say something more. Walk off. They don't deserve your time. Don't let them steal your joy. And don't care what they say. You don't even know these people. If they give you their unsolicited opinion, especially if it's rude, walk away. Walk away. Uh, what is it? You ain't going to study. <laughs> I ain't studying them. <laughs> Friends, we love y'all. We really do. We're so glad you're here. Y'all like and follow and share and do all the the hearts and the smile. It's just wonderful. Our page is growing steadily. We're marching right along and it's because of you. Facebook oh, yeah. sees that and they say they're interested in John and Mama's page or they wouldn't be interacting. And when they see you interacting, then they say, we can push this out to a bigger audience. So like it, follow it, share it. Some of you may think I'm following them, but you're really not. Right, right in there somewhere should be a follow button. If it is, you're not following. Go to our page and check and make sure you've liked and followed it. Does it say share or follow? It says share on the bottom, but by the sign of where it tells you're watching us or at the top, it'll say follow. So make sure you're following. We've had some people on here that we talk to on inst instant messages that, uh, and I look and they're not following because I can see who's following. And I'm like, I wonder if they know they're not following. So, and, I, and for you people who don't say, I've not seen you in a while, John. We were, why come your mama don't, we are on here every day. If you're not seeing us every day, or a post that says we're sick or we're not going to be able to, something come up, there'll be a post or us every day. So if you're not seeing those things, then you're, you might not be following and you may not have hit the little bell to get notifications. But check it, make sure you are. We'd like to hit, we're at 180 something, we'd like to get to 200,000. Just just mama's little next goal. Mama yeah. wanted 175 so the 75 could match her birthday. You all got there like that. Yeah, it was amazing how fast it came. Mama said, I can't believe it. I thought about Christmas. <laughs> and that, I think that was her best Christmas present. It was. I believe it was. It was just <laughs> thrilled me to death. And as the mama said, it's another go. I thought she was going to say 180. She said, 200,000 is what I'd like to well, see. Well, they thought that 175 so quick. I said, well, I only started on five. I went to 200. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, Mercy, we appreciate y'all. We really do thank the world of you and you're a part of our family. So just keep on keeping on and keep on watching us and hopefully we'll just, you know, grow together and we'll just do some more stuff. We've got some things in the works that we're wanting to try. Uh, we're wanting to try some new menu items, just some stuff. We kind of like to stick to Southern home cooking, but there's only so much of that. So we thought we might try to add in a brand new recipe that we've never had before once in a while. We don't do that a lot because Mama's like, I don't know if I, I like don't that. know if I can eat it. <laughs> I said, well, if you can't eat it, we'll throw some chicken tenders in the air fryer. <laughs> if I don't like it, I'll, I'll eat me a bologna sandwich. So some things we're going to try. And if y'all want to send us some recipes, some of your family favorites. Now, don't just pull up something out of a book. And send us, we can do that. We got tons and tons We've of cookbooks. We've got uh, several recipes we need to go through. Uh, the war cake. Uh, yeah. And uh, somebody sent us an old family recipe. I just went blank. I can't think what it is now. There's one cake I want to try, and I've heard it pronounced two ways. So, per, uh, a pig picking cake and a pig, pig licking cake. And uh, pig picking, pig picking, and pig licking. So um, we're going to try that one just to see if we like it. Um, but it, I'd love to have some recipes of your all's that maybe is in your regular rotation, or maybe a family favorite, and and tell us a little story about it. Like my family loves this. My oldest son is his favorite. My daughter. Uh, wants it on her birth. Still stories, you know. So we'll have a little history to go with it. And um, so if you want to send us some 
recipes, then we're going to start trying some different recipes. Not all the time. We're going to have fish and macaroni and cheese still. <laughs> and meatloaf and pork chops. And, and, but every once in a while, trying something new would be fun and exciting. So, Mama, you got anything you want to add tonight? Mm -mm. All right. No. <laughs> we caught her with her mouth full, as she says. All right, folks. We're going to go. If y'all got anything you just want to add, anybody have any questions about the food? Let's kick it up here. I've, I've stopped it. Pick, picking cake. Pick, picking cake. Okay, Lynn. Lynn Murphy, it ain't good. I'm going to blame it on you because I'll say, Lynn Murphy said we're going to love it. Pick, picking cake. Okay, Lynn. I thanks for the endorsement because I've never had heard of it until a friend of mine said, I got a cake you ain't never heard of. I said, well, you've, you've done it. Pig licking cake is really good. See, Judy, you're calling it pig licking and she's calling it pig picking. And I've heard it both ways from different people. And maybe there's two cakes. Maybe we just got two, uh, two uh, nice. names. Thank you, Mama. Pig picking, Deb says. I love noodles and cheese. Yeah. Is it like macaroni and cheese? The pig picking cake is great. Nice for spring, light with the Cool Whip. Ooh, Brandy, that sounds good. Does Mama do pineapple upside down cake? Yes, she does. It's like an old fashioned thing. My mom used to make and take to uh, picnics. Yeah, Mama could make one of them. Mama makes it two ways. <clears throat> She'll put it in a black iron skillet sometime, and then sometimes she puts it in a buck pan. Sometimes I use pineapple slices, and sometimes I use Press crushed pineapples. With, but with cherries. Yeah. Um, so she makes it two different ways. Have we but never made that here? Brown sugar. <laughs> have we never made it on here? You know, I can't remember. No one would have to tell us. Um, pig picking and pig licking. I'm glad you all are, are knowing what I'm even talking about. Oh, Beth, we don't tie up no dogs. Says they need to be with family and not tied up outside. They ain't no dogs tied up here. No. Um, I wouldn't have one if I had I'll one. give you an update since you brought that up. Mama witnessed it today. It's warm. It's beautiful here. It's, it was 60 cent degrees. And Abby would not come in at all. She and wouldn't I, come in for me. I tried to get her to come in and quit barking. And I tried to get her to come in today with a treat. Nothing. Would not. I tried to get her to come in all through the cold weather. Would not. She was coming in and staying three minutes and running out. She won't come in. She won't come in for me while I go. I thought. Now, I'm not, I could force her to come in. I could get her to pull her in. I ain't going to do that. She does what she wants to. I don't feel like I own pets. Some people say um, uh, we own pets. We don't. I don't feel like I'm her owner. I feel like I'm her co-spirit. She's got a spirit. She's she's who she is. You know, we never did feel like we owned Maggie any more than people own their mother, their father, their child. I mean, you just, you coexist with them, you know, and they have their ideas. And someone said, animals don't know what they want or what's oh, best for yes, them. yes, they do. Have you ever seen a trail of cows in mid-July walk into the barn? Well, let me tell you, if you do, you better walk home, too. This is a reminder. If you're out, and you farmers know exactly what I'm talking about. If you're out, it's a sunny, hot day. And all the cows seem to be getting to the barn, and you're not feed time, and it's just, there's weather coming. There's weather coming. Uh, birds, they know what they're doing. Hornets seem to know what the weather's going to be by the way they, by the way they build their nest. So animals know a lot. They know a lot. They've got their own personalities and everything different. The last earthquake we felt here, 
Maggie was tore all to pieces all morning. She was just nervous and running back and forth and wanting to go out and wanting to come in. And the earthquake happened. We felt it. We didn't have a major one, but we felt it. You even heard this one. And after it was over with, everything, she calmed right down. I think she knew. She felt it. There was just something about it. So animals know a lot. But anyway. And when your daddy had his cancer and his radiation treatments, our other dog, Sierra, she would uh, sit at the floor and watch him and guard him. Mm -hmm. And if he felt good, she'd be up in his lap making him pet her and mm -hmm. everything else. They sense and know. She that. knew. And she had her bed, and she always laid in her bed, and she always done her thing, and she might go out in the sun room or somewhere and lay down. But when he was sick, she wasn't leaving. When he had a bad day at dialysis, or he, she would lay right at his feet, and if he tried to get up or something, she would jump up. Like, where are you going? It was amazing to watch. She even slept on the foot of his bed mm -hmm. when he was real bad, oh, yeah. watching him. Uh, you know, and they have got they have found dogs uh, can smell skin cancer on people. Dogs can know when people's blood pressure's up or down or their sugar levels. Sugar, yeah. Mm -hmm. They're smart. They're smart. I, I think they're highly intelligent in their life. Oh yeah, Abby's smart. Me and her was talking about it today how smart she was. <laughs> As my daddy says, that's a smart kid or a smart aleck one. <laughs> Let me tell you a joke about dogs. We used to have a family member, and he would tell stories. He wouldn't tell jokes, but he would tell these stories, and he would always make them personal. And as a kid, I always felt like, did that really happen? <laughs> so he used to tell this joke, and he said, I had a, like, if you, if you come to your house and you had a dog, he would say, I had a dog like that one time. Smartest dog I ever had, he said. He said, my neighbor came over one day and was talking about it, and I told him how smart my dog was. He said, well, just how smart is he? He said, well, he knows his colors. Do you have a dog that knows his colors? And he said, well, prove it. He said, I looked at that dog, and I said, Bo, go upstairs and get my green shirt off the bed. He said, Bo went up the steps and come back with my green shirt. Said, of course, he didn't believe it. He said, well, there's probably only one shirt on the bed, and it was green. He said, okay, I'll prove it. He said, Bo, go upstairs and get my blue shirt off the bed. Said, Bo went up, come down with my blue shirt. And he said, well, there's probably only two, and you trained him how to get them. And he said, boy, you are a tough one. He said, Bo, go upstairs and get my checkered red shirt off the bed. He said, Bo ran up the stairs, said, didn't come back down. He said, I thought, well, this is unusual. And he said, uh-huh, he got tired, didn't he? He said, he ain't coming down. He said, something's wrong. He would have brought that shirt back down here. He said, we went up the stairs to check on him. He said, and there he was, sitting on the foot of the bed, putting a button on that shirt. said, he didn't want to bring it down there, and it missing a button. Now that's smart. Don't act like it ain't. I don't own the rights to that story or joke, whatever you want to call it. But it always tickled me. And I always thought he had a dog that could sew. Because he had a way of telling stories like that. But that's a good one. Uh, and dogs are smart. I don't know if they can sew buttons without thumbs. But if they had a thumb, they could probably run us off if they wanted to. <laughs> Folks, thank y'all for putting up with us. Y'all have a blessed night. Do something fun. It's just 7.35 7 on a Friday night. Wow, we're going to stay up here late tonight. It may Maybe be 8.15 or 9. It might be 9.30 or 10 before I even go to bed. <laughs> Say good night, Mama. Good night, Mama. God bless you, so. And train you down to sell those buttons off. Mama, you gotta get on Abby. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Have a good one. Bye.